So you just bought a new iPhone and you're looking to get the best video settings possible for any sort of scenery. Well, today I'm going to show you how to change those settings and how to make the most out of your iPhone camera. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? If you can't tell, I'm big into making videos and uh, sometimes it's a lot easier to do that on the go with an iPhone than carrying around my SLR camera. So I wanted to show you ways that you could actually change the video settings on this to make sure that you get the most out of whatever shooting style you're going for. Uh, this video itself is shot in 30 frames per second. So if you're not familiar with what that means, it means that there are 30 still frames that you are seeing per second. There's lots of different recording settings and it really depends on what you're trying to shoot. For instance, if you're looking to get more of like a cinematic look or something like that, you may wanna shoot in 24 frames a second. Whereas most of the things you see on the internet, such as YouTube videos or newscast stuff, a lot of that is shot in 30 frames per second. The next most common one is 60 frames per second. And that's gonna be good if you're wanting to get really smooth, like really kind of action-y shots. It's great for uh, video game content creation or if you're filming uh, sports, things that require a lot of movement, you're gonna get a lot smoother images and less motion blur when you shoot in 60 frames per second. Video shooting modes such as 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second are mainly used for slow-mo video and typically not for everyday type shooting. That being said, if you're looking to learn how to change to different video modes on your iPhone, this video is for you. So let's just get right into it. So I just started a screen recording and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do this on the iPhone. So to start off, we're going to go to the settings uh, of your iPhone. So I'm actually gonna swipe down from the top and then type in settings here to get that to pull up. I'm running iOS 14, but this should be pretty much the same on iOS 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, I highly suggest updating to the latest one available to you. I'm using beta software, but I promise you it looks the same on whatever iOS you're on, as long as you're above iOS 10. So I'm going to go up to the top here. You can see it has my information here. I'm gonna scroll down until I see camera. Once you see camera, you're gonna tap camera, and then the easiest way to see it is you have record video and record slow-mo. If you tap record video, this is gonna show you all the different types of frame rates that you can choose and the, the space that it's normally going to take to save those videos. So that's something to think about. The more frames you take in per second, the higher the file size is going to be. So if you have a lower uh, amount of storage on your iPhone, you may wanna shoot in something with less frame rate or maybe a lower resolution. Um, you can see my iPhone supports uh, 4K, 1080p, and 720p, and that's going to be the resolution size. And then of course, the different types of frame rates offered for those. Um, typically, I shoot at 4K 24 frames a second. Um, I'm actually going to make a change though, to change that to 4K at 30 frames per second. Uh, auto low light FPS, what that does is it's going to reduce the frame rate uh, to improve your low light video. Um, that's something that you can turn off, I leave it on. I don't really see a big difference in uh, motion blur or anything like that whenever that feature is on. So uh, I leave it on by default. I'm gonna swipe back here and you can see there is a slow-mo section. Um, by default, I leave mine on 1080p at 240 frames a second. That's going to give me the most frames uh, so I can slow it down even further. Something to think about is if you slow down, let's say, let's say you take a 120 frames second video, right? Uh, once you slow that down by 50%, it essentially becomes a hundred or it becomes a 60 frames per second video. So if you slow it down by half that again, you're gonna have 30 frames per second. So this allows me to go very, very slow at 240 frames a second and still maintain a very smooth video. So back to this though. So now that those things are set, you can also change the format um, between high efficiency and most compatible. I'd say by default, most people can leave it on high efficiency. And what that is, is just going to be the uh, file format that it saves as. Um, anytime you send this to websites or you upload it to an email or send it to a friend or whatever, it's going to convert automatically from your iPhone to whatever file format um, is most compatible. Uh, but for saving purposes, it saves it as the most efficient to make sure that you are getting the most out of your iPhone storage. So now that we're back on the home page here, I accidentally cut off my screen sharing, so I had to go back into that. Um, but 
We're gonna go ahead and open up the camera app now and let's say I wanted to change the, the video resolution. You can change your video resolution dynamically on the phone just by going in the top right hand corner and tapping whether or not you want HD or 4K and then you can also tap on the right hand side and change the frame rate right there in real time. So I can change between 24, 30 frames and 60 frames a second as well as HD, 60 frames a second, 30 frames per second. And then of course you can make some additional changes from the settings. But if you wanted to change things kind of in the moment to do some quick settings, that's a cool feature as well. So guys, I hope this video was super informative for you and helped you on learning how to change the video settings on your iPhone. If you have any more questions, please be sure to drop in a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer to the best of my ability or at least get you a resource available. If you did find this content super helpful, if you don't mind subscribing, liking, or commenting, it really does help out the channel a lot. It would mean the world to me. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.